Hello and welcome to Thomas Geiger car today with the updated version of the Mercedes V-Class and the EQV. Even if this car is slowly approaching the finish line, Mercedes has updated and upgraded the two mid-size vans significantly. Since all the company is heading towards the top end of the luxury segment, the van division is also adding some gliss and glamour and more comfort to the cars. We have a huge grill inspired by the S-Class. For the first time ever, we have the star on the bonnet and we have lots of more comfort and luxury details in the interior. If you want to know all these details half a year before this car hits the market in early 2024, join me on my first walk around and I'll tell you more about it. Same as with the exterior design, the biggest changes in the interior design are in the front because we have finally a brand new cockpit that brings the V-Class closer to the passenger cars again because you feel like sitting in an A, B or even a C-Class with the two big screens that are standing free in front of the dashboard. Yeah, we still have the touchpad down here, but at least now we have the newest generation of the MBUX system running. We have more gliss and glamour in the interior as well, more chrome, more detail, more luxury. And we have a new button, which is kind of weird that it's not been available before, but for the first time ever, even the V-Class has a keyless start and stop system. So you can keep the key in your pocket, start the car with this button alone. Talking about starting, Mercedes is a bit tight-lipped when it comes to the engine, so I have no idea what to start. Hmm? No idea? I have an idea. Since the successor of the actual V-Class is already around the corner, I doubt that they did big changes to the engine lineup. Some more horsepower, a little bit more efficiency, but basically they will stick to the four and six cylinder petrol and diesel engines that they have. Same with the EQV, I assume it will stick with his 150 kilowatts and it's roughly 400 kilometers of range. More details to that topic will come towards the end of the year. Until that, we can just enjoy the beautiful look, the luxury that Mercedes is giving us right now. And if you don't want to have the full luxury package, there are two different lines a little bit lower than the exclusive one standing next to us. And if you love camping, now you can go glamping with an updated Marco Polo V-Class as well. While the driver is promoted into an A, B or even a C-Class with the new cockpit, the passengers are feeling like in an S-Class or almost like in a Maybach because as only in the Maybach models offered, Mercedes is installing huge captain chairs in the back of the V-Class as long as you order the exclusive version. Two seats, all the space for yourself and you can even use the recline function and can have a long, long rest along the journey. So you can fold out the cushion for the leg, you can recline the rear and you can really have a long, long sleep. And if you can't afford to sleep but have to work, there is also a wonderful desk which is even lit up. You can place your laptop here. The new generation of the MBUX system offers you wireless LAN and hotspot connection so you can use the thing as your mobile office or your mobile hotel suite just as it suits your needs. Thanks for joining me on that first walk around with the new Mercedes V-Class and the EQV next to it. This is a facelift that left the commercial side finally behind. Yes, this car is still derived from a commercial van but it's so luxurious now that you almost forget it. You're really sitting in a Mercedes and you're feeling and seeing it in every detail. Still a long way to go to catch up with the Asian luxury vans, which are the pure and the real limousines of the new age because they have even bigger seats, bigger screens, more privacy, more luxury. If you sit, for example, in the somehow system model Denza D9 in the new Lexus LM and cars like that, you still feel second class and that is something a Mercedes should not feel like. But huge progress until now 
and the next generation is almost right around the corner and I'm pretty sure that the next generation will be even more luxurious and finally get you to the point where you really have to decide whether you buy an S-Class or a B-Class. Thank you, Shishie, Sai Tien and goodbye.